up guys, David one two and two, and uh, today we got a fun little video I'm doing. I got myself a two-player starter set of one of my favorite card games in existence, Keyforge. And this is their brand new Mass Mutation set. For those of you who don't know how Keyforge works, basically what it is is uh, your deck is pre-built by the algorithm. It's also pre-named and it's completely, it's completely unique to you. So uh, no one will ever have your deck and uh, your deck is completely your own. And what's really cool about that is, um, like you register your deck to yourself. So what's, what's cool about that is, um, instead of having to like collect a bunch of cards and stuff, you just collect decks. You don't ever need to change and you, you can't change the, the list of the cards in your deck. It's really, it's really cool. And then the, the rules are also a little different too. Instead of like life points and things, you need to accrue these these embers here instead of uh, destroying your opponent's monsters and stuff. So like, like you can't actually win in one turn normally. It, it's pretty hard to OTK. It's almost impossible uh, by rules of the game. And it, so it's more of a race than a duel. And it's just an entirely different card game. And it's, it's fun. I really like it. Um, and if, for those who are curious about it, I figured I would open one of the starter uh, kits so you can kind of see what's kind of what's in here. And so the game seems complicated because it's got all this hooey, like here's your keys for the titular key forging. Uh, you got damage counters and uh, various status afflictions. And then you got your, your chain counter, which is something that it's a penalty for using broken cards. Uh, and then more status afflictions and some power ups. So yeah, you just got, it's just like, it's like Pokemon and, and things where it's got a lot of uh, bric-a-brac that goes with the game. You also get a couple of a couple of play mats uh, with this current angle. There's really no way for me to open these, but we got cool artwork and stuff like that. So, you know, that's kind of dope. And the box comes with two completely unique decks. These decks will, uh, these decks are your decks. Um, and even in the starter kit, the decks are just booster packs. So you get one full deck in here, 36 cards, and one Archon card. Basically the Archon is just, it's you. It's it's like your player card, so it doesn't really count. And what's cool is, I lost my train of thought, I was dying. Oh, but uh, what I was gonna say is, um, not only is your deck list unique, but your deck itself is unique to you. All right, our first deck is Selic of Malfil Station. Yep, that's me. I am Selfic of Mathfield Station. And then these three symbols here show you what houses your deck has. Uh, this game plays um, like a combination of Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh, where you can, there's no mana, so you can play whatever the hell you want, but you're restricted to one of your houses in uh, like uh, for a turn. So at any point in time, you only have access to a third of your deck. So like there's summoning sickness and, and like uh, battles a lot like Magic, but the limitless resources are like Yu-Gi-Oh! And at the end of your turn, you just refill your hand to a max hand, so you're never... Card advantage is very different in this game. Alright, so, uh, there's a QR code here. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna cover it with my thumb, because uh, that QR code is uh, how you scan the deck with the mobile app to your uh, player profile, so that's how it locks it to you. So I don't want anyone reading this video and, and, and like, scaling, but it also contains on your, the back of your, your Archon card is your deck list. So that way you can always be sure exactly, exactly what cards are supposed to be in your deck. Um, and if you need to like spot check and things like that, you have it. It also tells you the rarities of various things. Um, like most of these circles here, these means they're commons. Uh, star means rare. Uh, this weird four pointed star here, you probably can't see it too well, is like a special card that like it's generated by the algorithm if you have like another card in your deck or something like that. Um, this one's actually got a couple of them. And then, uh, oh, wow. Oh, I, I believe this symbol means Maverick, which is, um, <laughs> that's cool. I think it's my first one I've ever got. Basically a Maverick card is, it'll, uh, cards are like, they're like attributes in Yu-Gi-Oh where like, Tour Guide's always a dark monster because that's what Tour Guide is. But a Maverick is like, if they one time printed Tour Guide as a light monster, just so that it would work in a very particular strategy. However, that light tour guide is now stuck to this specific deck. So that's like what a Maverick is. It's, it's basically a, a card that got printed in a different house just so this deck could use it in a special way. So we might as well look at the cards in the deck, right? The other thing about Keyforge is uh, this deck, 36 cards, uh, unique to you is only retails for ten dollars. So for the for the price of a Yu-Gi-Oh starter deck, you get a full playable deck unique to you, and its its viability in the current meta, I guess, 
does not all this game kind of doesn't have a meta because everyone's deck is just a bunch of random garbage. Uh, um, everyone's playing with some level of jank, so you got to make the best of it. You got to learn to play your deck specifically better than everyone else. Like some decks are like you know on the bell curve are a little better than others, but um, they they tend to be all relatively equally powered more or less. Some are better at one thing than others. So like even if you get an old set or a new set, your deck will at least be able to duel every other future deck ever. So it's like. You got some interesting future proofing and the game is cheap in theory but anyway so uh for our untamed house we got xeno beast song of the wild savage clash uh reclaimed by nature rapid evolution uh pismire that's an interesting that's a new one two of those niffle ape yeah baby niffle ape uh this game works a lot like magic where you actually got uh keywords like for instance taunt and elusive are uh two battle oriented keywords Niffle Ape here, when it doesn't attack, it ignores these two things. Elusive, uh, the first time a card is attacked, and just nothing happens. It just wastes the attack move. And then uh, Taunt means that it uh, that monster must be attacked. It's taunting the opponent, and you can't attack its neighbors. Because uh, you play your stuff in a horizontal column, kind of like in Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic, called your battle line. Placement on the battle line is actually, it matters with some instances. So like Taunt will let you protect your two floodgate monsters, that are side to side on our neighbors of your, your taunting monster. So like, so Niffle is cool because he ignores that. And it looks like we got, we got two of those bad boys. <laughs> key frog. Yay. Oh, it's a frog deck. Uh, forge a key at current cost. Nice. That's one of the uh, ways you actually win the game. It's you, you for well, the only way to win the game is to forge three keys. Normally you forge a key at the start of your turn, only allowed to forge one a turn. So therefore uh, at very, very quick, it's normal gameplay. You can only win at least in three turns, but there are key cheat cards like this, which kind of lets you choose it if you can muster the muster the Ember. Uh, Flume, uh, Daemon Beast, Xeno Beast, Daemon Beast. Oh, that's cool. It's really cool. And then our Star Alliance. This is like the uh, Lost in Space Star Trek uh, house. Uh, John Cargo, Particle Sweep, uh, Teleporter Chief Tink, another Tink, Security Droid, Red Alert, Commander Chan, Second Commander Chan, Third Commander Chan, that's cool, uh, Blasting Shield, Axis Denied, and Munchling. I believe this is our Maverick card? Yes, uh, Munchling is is not a Star Alliance card, this guy up here, typically. All right, and then we got Exchange Officer. Exchange Officer is our second Maverick in the deck. He's printed as a Logos, but I think he's supposed to be a Star Alliance card. However, uh, every single instance of this card I've ever seen has always been a Maverick. So I'm wondering if, because it's an Exchange Officer, its gimmick is this card's always a Maverick. Well, that, that, that's the case, that's kind of cool. Uh, we got Vellum, uh, Hide. Sloppy Lab Boy, that's a great freaking card. Neural Siphon is another fantastic card. If your opponent has more Ember than you, steal one Ember and draw a card. Ember's how you win, uh, and drawing is always good. So stealing Ember is really good because it lowers your opponent and makes you have more. Fission Bloom. Standardized Testing, that's a good card. Uh, Cumex. Another Munchling. Maybe he's actually a Logos card. I'm not super familiar with the brand new set. Edict Inquiry. Daughter. And bot booked in as our final cup. Well, I'm futzing with this. Let me know if you guys like the. Uh... I'm always experimenting with pack openings because it's not some. It's not. It's deceptively difficult to film. All right, our other deck is uh, Brightkin of Pro World. This one has got Sanctum. Uh... Oh shit. Saurian and Dis. I was like, this is one of the newer ones. I, I, I forgot what it was. All right. I don't know why I'm showing the back of the Archon card because there's literally no way for you to read any of this. All right. We'll just go down the lineup. Saurians. Monument of Faust. Lycosaurus. High Priest of Ors. Senator Quintina. I, I, I've i never played, like, I, I think I've played a Saurian deck once. So I don't actually recognize all these cards. Saurian Egg. Humble. Spoils of Battle. Spoils of Battle over two. Doubles in a deck is actually kind of unusual, uh, especially in triples and quadruples or even more so. So if you get, like, so if you get a deck that's oddly consistent because it has a couple of copies of a certain card, that's pretty neat. Uh, Faust the Great, Curse of Vanity, uh, Consul Primus, Chant of Hubris, and now we're on to our Sanctum, the Paladins. Nice, going the new pips. Uh, Opal Knight, very neat. 
potion of invulnerability. Two potions of invulnerability. <laughs> angry mob. Two angry mobs. I got a whole mob. I got a three angry mobs. Uh, smite. Double smite. Seeker of truth. Double seeker of truth. Burning glare. Ardent hero. Okay, so that's it. That's. I guess that's kind of an even split with creatures. You can tell a card's a creature because it's got a, it's got a stat over here. This power, and sometimes it has armor. That's how you know it's a creature. It also says, you know, creature. Xenofiend. Alstar. Pain mail. <laughs> cool. Uh, Histricog. Uh, Grim Reminder. This is the Dis House, by the way. Uh, Gleeful Mayhem. Waking Nightmare. I love the card art in this game. It's really bright. Uh, Sarnetta. Infernance. Here's your gateway to Dis. Very cool. It's got an enhance pip? Maybe that's what the blue number is. It's for enhance. I don't remember. I gotta look this stuff up. Drekker. And Dark Minion. Every set they add some sort of new gimmick for the specific set. It means you gotta read. Guys, I hope you uh, found this as fun as I did. I, I love this stuff. This is a, such a fun game. I can't wait to play this with people. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And remember, guys, if you don't troll the meta who will, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the video. If you guys want to help support the channel, check out my links down in the description below. I've got links to the Discord, Facebook, and Patreon if you want to get in touch with me, help with the lists, things like that. Or if you want to save some money, you can head over to MetaMat's website, use my code TROLLMETA at checkout, you can save 10% off a custom cloth playmat like one of these bad boys. Or if you want to waste your money on expensive cardboard, use my TCG player link in the description below and put off your financial obligations. Dueling takes both luck and skill. Show this by pressing the subscribe and notification buttons. Now, bear witness to these other Davinator 1212 videos. Hmm? Odeon! What is it, master? It's time to apply the ointment. Hmm. Come help me with this. I should have left with Ishizu. I can't reach.